It's no secret that throughout history, jails, prisons, and penitentiaries have been home to some of the worst living conditions out there. Many close down from the news of how bad the conditions are, rezoning, or a general lack of success in keeping the peace within their walls. Today I'm bringing you the stories of 10 of these jails whose tragic pasts have led to hauntings taking place within their walls. My name is Abby and this is the top 10 scary abandoned jails that are the most haunted. At number 10 we have Ohio State Reformatory aka Mansfield Reformatory. Yes this is the reformatory that was made famous in the film The Shawshank Redemption. It was opened up in 1896 as a place for prisoners that were too old for juvie but not hardened enough for the penitentiary in the state. So at one point it was applauded as a place that could humanely reform first time offenders. But its conditions did deteriorated to the point that it became known for abuse, torture, and murder. The inmates even filed a lawsuit against it saying it was unfit for human occupation. But even after that, it stayed open until 1986. Ever since it closed, there have been stories of the paranormal occurring there. Mainly apparitions and footsteps of the former inhabitants have been encountered. Some people have even said they have had unsettling encounters in the cells where many of the inmates suffered and some died. A resident ghost of the prison is said to be the late wife of one of the wardens. She died in 1950 in an apartment in the administration administration wing of the prison. She died when a loaded handgun fell from a closet shelf and went off. Her spirit has remained in the apartment ever since and it typically manifests in the smell of perfume. At number 9, Missouri State Penitentiary aka The Walls. So this prison was built in the early 1930s and the initial prison population was under 20 people. Obviously it grew to numbers much greater than that until its closure in 2004. And it saw quite a few infamous prisoners. They include Charles Pretty Boy Floyd and James Earl Ray. So during the time the prison was operational, 40 inmates were executed within its gas chambers. Also, in 1954, there was a major riot at the prison. Police and patrols from all around Missouri had to go to try to stop the riot and lessen the disturbance. The riot led to the death of four inmates, the injury of 29 inmates and four guards, and several buildings being seriously burned. Times Magazine once called it the bloodiest 47 acres in America for all the violence that happened at the penitentiary. Also, it's no surprise that ever since it's been closed, it's been a hot spot for eerie encounters and sightings. Visitors have said they've encountered lingering spirits, either seeing them or hearing them. That can range from footsteps throughout the halls or seeing what they think is a former inmate and then it disappearing. At number 8, Old Idaho Penitentiary. The Old Idaho Penitentiary housed prisoners from 1872 to 1973. The conditions of the prison were abysmal, especially as time went on since infrastructure didn't keep up with the times. This led to the riots that eventually led to prisoners of Old Idaho to be moved to a more modern prison in 1973. Over the 100 years of the prison, 110 inmates died from old age, illness, and murder and 10 state executions took place there. In recent years, many people who visit Old Idaho see or hear things they can't explain, sometimes even things caught on camera. These reports of experiences include people hearing voices, feeling like they were physically touched, or feeling a sense of heaviness or strange feeling. The website for the penitentiary says these occurrences are more frequent in Siberia, which is the solitary confinement cells, and the gallows room in the maximum security cell house. At number 7, Maxwell Street Police Station. So this police station was built in 1889, and became a notorious police station known for corruption, bribery, brutality, and torture. In part, this may have been because the likes of the Jenna brothers were from the area, and that was a pair that partnered with Al Capone's operation to make prohibited liquor within blocks of the police station. Allegedly, many criminals were sent down to the basement and they didn't make it out alive. While it's now used as a part of the set for the TV show Chicago PD, there are stories that souls still linger there. Screams of the people tortured or killed in the dungeon have been reported to echo from the basement. And people have also heard crying, moaning, and the sounds of rattling bars and handcuffs. At number 6 we have Central Unit Prison. So Central Unit Prison opened in 1909 and was closed down in 2011. One of its famous inmates was musician Lead Belly. So an unfortunate aspect of the prison was the inflated numbers of African Americans it imprisoned under the discriminatory black codes. They did this in order to supply labor for the state's convict lease system, where you could lease a convict to do labor for you. Unsurprisingly, this has been called slavery by another name. Since its closing, only one group was able to explore the abandoned prison, and it was Ghost Adventures. They documented blasts of cold air, spikes of electrical charges on an EMF, and one member felt a heaviness on his chest. This led to that member feeling lightheaded, kind of floaty, and overall weird, so he had to take a break. Lastly, they caught a shadow figure on a camera that they couldn't outright explain. Even if there were more ghosts there that no one saw, it has been closed to the public since, and the zone people have been trying to figure out what to do with the land. So who knows just how many ghosts or paranormal things are there. But let's move on to number 5, Lake County Jail. So this jail was built in 1908 in Crown Point, Indiana. During its early years, county sheriffs were required to live at the jail. 
Because of this, it was a combined residence with the family's living area, warden's residence, department offices, 150 cells, maximum security accommodations, an institutional kitchen, food storage, heating, and cooling systems, a barber shop, and a garage. Did you keep track of how many things? It was basically its own little town. In 1934, the gangster John Dillinger escaped the prison, which has since made the jail somewhat infamous. It closed down in the 70s and was turned into a historic site. Over the past two decades, there have been restorations on the site, and there have been stories about hauntings taking place there. In the cells and hallways of the jail, strange photographs have been taken. Doors open and close by themselves, and lights turn on and off. Some have even heard disembodied footsteps and voices, and both volunteers at the historic site and visitors have had these experiences. Let's move on to number four, Ohio Penitentiary. This penitentiary was opened in 1834 and closed down in 1979. Back in the early 1900s, it was condemned by reformers due to stories coming out of it. From cholera outbreaks to murders and executions, it was full of death. But fire was the biggest vein. In April of 1930, a huge blaze swept through the west block of the prison, taking the lives of 322 inmates in a single night. Even while the prison was still open, inmates would complain about seeing apparitions or ghostly figures. After the penitentiary was torn down, rumors of those same sightings around the ruins was quick to spread. In its place now is a sport arena, which is still rumored to be haunted. Number 3. Fort Delaware Fort Delaware was built in 1859 as a prison camp for Confederate prisoners of war during the Civil War. It was mainly known for its role as a prison, with nearly 13,000 prisoners kept within the wooden barracks. The living conditions were horrifying, as food rations were small and nearly inedible. Plus, the water was putrefied. Scurvy, smallpox, and severe malnutrition were common. The prisoners were so famished that sergeants would throw rats into the crowds. They would laugh as they watched the imprisoned men struggle for a piece of the meat. Around 2,700 men died within those walls, and many of their spirits are said to linger within the haunted walls. Its dark history made it a popular spot for paranormal enthusiasts, and the dungeons where prisoners were held is said to be a particularly active spot. Number 2. Alcatraz Alcatraz goes down in history as the ultimate American prison. It initially started out as a military prison, but it was reopened in 1933 to be an escape-proof federal prison for the worst of all the lawbreakers. It was known for housing Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, and Doc Barker, among others. Due to the limited privileges and the confinement of the inmates, murder, suicide, and insanity became frequent. There were bloody and violent breakout attempts, and one was proven successful. Three bank robbers vanished into the bay, never to be found again. It was closed one year after that successful escape in 1963. Today, it is operated by the National Park Service, who have had some of their staff members report ghosts or other paranormal happenings on the property. Things like strange sounds, screams, yells, weeping, and eerie music. Lastly, at number one, Eastern State Penitentiary. The Quakers founded Eastern State Penitentiary in 1829 as a prison of total isolation. It was once the most famous and expensive prisons in the world, mainly because of the unbearably strict rules about inmate communication. The only people the inmates were allowed to communicate with were the wardens and guards. This was set in place as a way to attempt to reform the individuals. But the solitary confinement led many to being driven insane by the solitude. To break the rules was to guarantee an extreme punishment, which drove to suicides being common. At the prison, solitary confinement ended in the 1870s, and the prison closed down a century later. Ever since it's been closed, paranormal encounters have been common there. People talk of ghost stories such as apparitions, mysterious footsteps, and other strange sounds. With all that happened there, it's believable. And there you have it, that is the top 10 scary abandoned jails that are the most haunted. So some of these on this list are now tourist attractions, so please let me know if you would visit one, and if you have visited one, please let me know all about your experience down below. While you're down there, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to be notified when we post next time. I've been your host, Abby, and until next time, have a good one. <laughs>